Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about egg candling, specifically how I candle my eggs. Now, over the past few weeks, I've noticed a lot of different posts on Facebook groups, different members asking or taking pictures and posting them online and asking were their eggs fertile. Now, it's very difficult from looking at a picture to be able to tell if your eggs are fertile or not. The best and easiest method of knowing if your eggs are fertile is to candle them. Now in this short video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do this. Simple way, you don't even have to touch the eggs, specifically for those people who are afraid of touching them. If you're not very good with your fingers and you're afraid of breaking them, this is going to be a great video for you and you'll be able to know if your eggs are fertile. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy the video and learn something from it. Now before I show you guys how I candle the bird eggs, let's talk a little bit about egg development so we know what we're looking for. Let's say that your female just finished laying her clutch of eggs and started incubating. From days one through three, you won't be able to see any development in the eggs, so it's best to leave them alone during this time. Now at days four through seven, you're going to begin to see that the embryo is forming. The eggs should start to fill up with blood vessels and the embryo's heartbeat will be visible. This is the perfect time to candle those eggs and check for fertility. At days eight through 11, the chick's going to continue to grow and fill the egg up. Now, from days 12 to 15, this is the hatching time for the chicks. Now, depending on the finch species and when exactly that pair begin to incubate those eggs is when the chicks will hatch. It can be as soon as 12 days or it can be as late as 15 days. It's possible that sometimes we may not know when our pair begin to incubate, but we still want to check for fertility. And when doing so, we may see something like this. This first one is of a freshly laid or unincubated egg. Now this second one is an unfertile egg. You can tell the difference after a few days of incubation. Unfertile eggs will have a bigger, more pronounced yellow yolk. Another possibility is an early term death, where the entire egg is yellow. Although some blood vessels may still be visible, the embryo has died. The last possibility is a late term death. Here you will notice that the egg has no blood vessels and half of it will be dark. Alright guys, so now that we know what to look for, let's candle some eggs. Personally, I use a small flexi light LED flashlight. Now this allows me to get the head of this flashlight into the nest and check for fertility without having to touch any of these eggs. I've tried many different styles of flashlights and for me this one has been the best one. And it's because it has a flexible neck that you're able to twist and turn into different positions and it allows to get the head of this flashlight into nests that are very uncomfortable to reach with any other style. Now pushing the head of this flashlight firmly against the nesting material, the light will reflect upwards and you're able to check your eggs for fertility. We can see that these eggs are between four to seven days old. At this stage, the embryo is growing and the veins are extending outwards. This is also the stage where you're able to notice the embryo's heartbeat. This nest is the perfect example to show you guys the difference between an unfertile egg and an early term death. Now, these eggs have been incubated for the past five to six days. And as you can see with these two first eggs that I go ahead and candle, the yolk on the interior is very pronounced. It's very defined, very yellow, and that shows that these two eggs are unfertile. Now the third egg is very bright, very yellow on the inside, completely yellow actually. This shows an early term death. At some point, this egg did have an embryo and it did start to develop, but it ended up dying due to improper incubation or due to some sort of disease. Now, the last and final egg is also going to show that it is unfertile. Why is it that we need to candle and check for fertility? One of the main reasons why we candle and check for fertility as breeders is because we want to make sure that we're getting fertile eggs. We want to make sure that we're able to continue certain species in aviculture. We are very far behind when we compare ourselves to other countries like Australia and Europe as far as breeding. And the day that imports close, we will be very limited to the amount of species that we have here. So it is our job as breeders, as enthusiasts, to make sure that our birds are producing fertile eggs. Now this is going to help us to establish certain species in our aviculture. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. 
And I hope that you guys have learned something new from it, especially those of you who were afraid of candling eggs in the past because you didn't want to break them. Hopefully this has shown you that there are methods of checking your eggs fertility without necessarily having to touch them. If you like this video, if you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this clip.